everybody, it's me, your Star Wars father, the one, the only. Hey, do yourself a favor. Make a, an impact on your friends and family for years to come. Like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Get it on there. You know, just would appreciate the support for the channel. It's a small way to support the channel and get me into your feed. Subscribe so you get all this news and all the stuff all the time. All right, what happened this week in Galaxy Heroes? Number one, Admiral Trench was released. That's two characters two weeks in a row. Last week was Zori Bliss. This week, Admiral Trench. I think he's going to be a good character, and he's especially a good character for a lot of people. If you're like me, you're sitting there with characters like Newt Gunray, Jango Fett, Count Dooku. I have Asajj. She's my... Oh, I don't have any other Night Sisters really geared up. This type of team can really benefit a lot of players. If you have Trench out there as a new leader or new piece of that team, really bringing a lot more value to the team. However, however, I'm not a huge territory war Omicron kind of guy. And he's got one... I think he's got three, there's two, he's got three Territory War Omicrons, and wow, that's a big investment for Territory Wars. I can see if you're in a, a guild that really needs to keep up with the Joneses and get out, that people might be investing in those. My guild tends to do really well in Territory Wars without having to invest in truckloads of Omicrons. I've got Phasma, I've got Mara, and then I kind of don't have any other Territory or War Omicrons. I really lean heavily on Grand Arena Omicrons, so... Well, I do think Trench is going to be a benefit to these separatist teams. Uh, I'm not. I'm still not sold on on taking Watt out as my my number one plug and play character. You know, he Watt with Kylo can beat Jedi Master Luke. I don't have any other options for that happening than Watt and Kylo's my own GL, my only GL right now. So I don't know. I, I see Trench as being a really good character for for a really good leader character for a lot of these characters I'm not using right now. But Territory Wars doesn't get me excited. Maybe it does get you excited. Let me know in the comments what you think. So that's pretty much the big news from Galaxy Heroes. Let's get over to our content creator updates for the week. And of course, our first content creator stop is with Onald T101 ranking every team in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes from top to bottom. And Chromium is the addition of the Bausch Leia Hut Cartel team. As you're building up Job of the Hut, you might want to know, well, what can I do with the requirements? How good are they before a Job of the Hut? The good news is once you get Bausch Leia up and running, especially if you're going for Jabba, it's probably the first one you want to build up with her lead. You can get some decent use out of the rest of the Hut Cartel with Boba Fett, Embo, Mob Enforcer, Greedo. And then, of course, once you upgrade the Jabba the Hut, this... There you go, everybody. If you want to see all those teams upgraded from top to of bottom the by uh, the Grand Admiral himself, I don't see what I want to go check out that video. And then he was actually matched up with Sanjita in... Uh, in, in Grand Arena, but I guess he's off taking a vacation. You don't get vacations, man. You don't you don't get vacations. Anyway, go take a look at that video. Uh, good stuff for everybody. Moving on to our next one. Zareth prevails with the Gidme team. It's Gideon and Padme in Grand Arena 3v3. I really like this video. Call, so he calls all Imperial Troopers to assist. Uh, but, but you gotta look past that. The Imperial Trooper stuff, it's not a huge thing here, folks. So, here's the thing. All units lose 100% turn meter, which can't be resisted. Uh, which is something which is weird because uh, if you we'll, we'll look at Padme's kit, but it seems like he shouldn't lose turn meter. Then allies gain 25% turn meter. Cool, that's that's wonderful. Uh, the big thing here, guys, is that at the end support allies gain 100% protection up. The big thing here is R2D2 and Padme both happen to be support allies. So. And so they're both going to gain 100% protection up from Gideon. Then they're both going to get 20 stacks of courage. And they're both going to knock some skulls. Anyway, I haven't tried this yet. I had an opportunity to in my last Grand Arena. I forgot about it. I really want to give it a go. I enjoyed this video from Zero. So thanks again for, you know, I love these these uh, maybe unthought of counters, especially 3v3. You might not have a spot for Gideon if you're not using him in an Imperial Trooper team. So this is a really good idea. See those 20 stacks of Courage on Padme. They're just going to do a lot of damage if you got your R2 ready to go. So there you go. Thank you, Zareth Prevails. And moving on to our next, there is AP Gaines, who is in, uh, is in Asia right now for his job. He comes and talks about... How he uh, how he believes that Admiral Trench is the best character for everyone. I really want to uh, quickly talk about the new Conquest unit, the uh, the Admiral Trench. I don't know if he's actually in the game. I saw the pop up when I loaded up the game, but you guys all know the kit. You guys all know how to get Conquest characters at this point. I just want to talk about why I am so freaking excited about Admiral Trench. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. There he is. Why I'm so freaking excited about Admiral Trench. 
And it's not really that he's amazing. He's a good character. Um, I think he's going to be good. Unfortunately, he's TW Omicron's. Um, actually, there's no Omicron in that ability. Yeah, it's TW Omicron's, which is, you know, a little sad, but the kit itself as a base is good. But what I really like about him, this is going to be a short video, is Conquest characters that don't require a ton of stuff, right? There you go. So check out AP Gaines talking about Admiral Trench. You got my thoughts. I'll have some more thoughts here uh, probably in the next couple days as we start Conquest this time around. So go check out AP Gaines. Moving on to our next, we got a couple of content creators that maybe are on the outskirts a little bit, but let's talk about them. Starting with Celiac Sarah and her really bright white <laughs> screen here. Uh, this is, these are the uh, the leaked feats for Conquest coming up. Shut in mind, the ruthless discs. Um, Zealous Ambition is still there, which is great because you're going to hear me talk about it a lot. <laughs> um, Voluntary Vanguard is there as well. So I'm going to go over kind of disc suggestions to use for some of these teams and feats to keep in mind, as well as teams that I would look for um, for your enemies to go against. When you're there you go, guys. If you want to if you want to find out the uh, the upcoming Conquest feats, go check out Celiac Sarah. She does a lot of Celiac Sarah. She does a lot of um, collabs with Zareth, so her channel's out there. See the X era, go check her out. She's doing a lot of great content as well. We got one more content creator that I just found this week, and I'm pretty excited about it. And this is him. It's your boy, the gerbil, the white screen again. I I really enjoyed this video. He was talking about the data for who's going to be the next GL, and basically analyzing on a, on a fact of on the basis of uh, here's a here's the cost of it. The you know beginning the Krakens and the whales they spend money, so eventually people are spending no money on new characters. So he analyzed all the characters that are the least relict in the game and then kind of posited from there who might be the next GL because CG wants us to spend money on those least relict characters. So let's take a listen. A Omicron or even a Lifter character, as we've recently seen, that renews interest in a character that's undergeared within the community. But the, the, the biggest bang for the buck, of course, is the introduction of new characters. All right, so let's see how this looks in practice. Okay, there are 241 characters right now in the game. The most geared character is Darth Vader. Across the landscape, according to SWGOH.GG, 418,211 players on January 13th had a gear 13 uh, Darth Vader. That means the opportunity for 85 to 418 monetization opportunity. But you know what's even more massive is a brand new character such as... All right, there you go. So he's talking, I don't know if you guys get a kick out of that kind of stuff. I do. I really enjoy the economics presentation for the game because it you know, shows you who economically that CG might want you to be paying for next to upgrade in the game. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Hey guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It was really fun to find the gerbil here. I do love his intro. It's a little gerbil uh, lighting a lightsaber. I, I have a strong appreciation for that. It's pretty funny. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you next week with another update on This Week in Galaxy of Heroes. I will talk to you soon. Always remember... Nooch too good.